The SS Willis B. Boyer. Once the world's largest cargo ship, this retired vessel now serves as a floating museum moored at the International Park in Toledo, Ohio. Its construction was completed in 1911, nearly a hundred years ago. With the Boyer's centennial anniversary approaching, the ship remains a majestic reminder of the golden age of Great Lakes shipping. For over half a century, the Boyer hauled impressive loads of iron, coal, and rye. It was sold and resold several times, sailing under the flags of various shipping companies. Originally, it was named the Colonel James M. Shoemaker in honor of a Civil War hero of the same name. When purchased by the Interlake Steamship Company, the Shoemaker was renamed the Willis B. Boyer after the president of the Republic Steel Corporation. Eventually, it earned its well-deserved retirement in 1980 and became a maritime museum several years later. With many original furnishings still in place, the Willis B. Boyer provides visitors an intimate glimpse into Toledo's industrial past. Because of its rich and intriguing history, some paranormal enthusiasts have speculated as to what ghosts remain on board. Orbs, the Ohio researchers of Bandit Spirits, arrived at the ship, hoping to capture evidence of any lingering spirits. Orbs is an Ohio-based ghost hunting group that performs free investigations of allegedly haunted locations. The crew aims to gather evidence of real paranormal activity while debunking false claims that can be rationalized by very worldly explanations. They use devices like EMF detectors, K2 meters, digital thermometers, infrared cameras, and voice recorders to capture verifiable evidence. They've investigated haunted theaters, museums, motels, homes, and a number of other locations throughout Ohio, accumulating an impressive portfolio of paranormal evidence. While there are no available documentations of paranormal activity aboard the Willis S. Boyer, there is always the possibility of restless spirits in such a historic location. For years, very few people have been on board after dark during the supposed peak hours for ghostly activity, so perhaps a late night sojourn will stir up any paranormal entities. Also, with the ship still afloat, water beneath the hull could act as an energy source to stimulate activity. People have reported the feeling of being watched while on the ship, but it's up to Orbs to determine whether the cause is paranormal or purely secular. The team begins the investigation with a brief tour of the ship. They explore the Boyer's massive cargo holds and cozy sleeping quarters, scoping out promising locations. The ship, which is several hundred feet long, will give the crew plenty to investigate. And the job will not be done until every last inch of the ship, from top to bottom and from bow to stern, is inspected. They descend into the boiler room where things take an unexpected turn. It's a reminder of the danger inherent in the field of ghost hunting. The room itself is interesting enough, filled with pipes and grating, controls and gauges, but the team is taken by surprise when a fluorescent light bulb, one of many hanging from the ceiling, comes crashing down onto the floor. Though it is not necessarily paranormal, it's an interesting coincidence that puts the Orbs team on high alert. With the tour complete, the investigators head back upstairs. It's still light outside, and the team patiently awaits sunset. Eager to begin, they start taking pictures and doing some initial EMF sweeps. The weather is calm and warm, perfect conditions for low evidence contamination. The team finishes setting up the equipment. They place EVP recorders and run wire throughout the ship, covering as much area as possible. The wires connect to four infrared cameras, which are strategically placed to keep an eye on key locations. The video is sent to a monitor at Command Central where investigators can keep an eye on real-time anomalies. The crew then reconvenes to discuss a plan of attack to maximize the investigation's efficiency. They participate in a quick prayer asking for safety and protection throughout the night. They get into position and prepare for a long night of ghost hunting. As the sun sets across the river and darkness falls over the SS Willis B. Boyer, orbs buckles down for whatever the night may bring. To view the results of the investigation, visit the orbs website at www.banditspirits.com. For more information on the SS Willis B. Boyer, check out willisbboyer.org, the website which served as the main source of this video's historical information.